All right, so we we got the Alesis Surge uh, drum kit. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this thing. All right, everybody, we got the package. Uh, we brought it into the studio. It is actually the Alesis Surge electronic mesh drum kit. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and actually unpackage the rest of it. We just cut it open to make sure everything was there, you know, we just got it from UPS. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bust it open and put it together. All right, so we got it here. This is the box that comes in. We'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, it says kick pedal, 10 inch drum pad, kick pad, eight inch drum pad, eight inch drum pad, eight inch drum pad. We have some styrofoam concealing things. Let's see. Let's get this kick pedal open. We have the beater, and it's a chain driven kick pedal. We have the 10 inch pad, I believe. This is the snare pad. Ooh. Nice and shiny. A mesh drum head. Backside, the clamp. Actually, pretty nice, nicer than I uh, expected. Actually, feels good. So we have the eight inch. We're only gonna open one eight inch because if you've seen one eight inch drum pad, you've seen them all. So we'll open this one. Eight inch drum, eight inch mesh head. And there's my hand, so it's not too big, but it's like the size of a nice eight inch rack tom, like my acoustic drum set. This is empty boxed, I guess, you know, make the packaging tighter. We should open that one, see what's inside. It says kick pads. Put the bag off. It says Alesis on the back. Nice little steel frame, kick drum, eight inch I believe for the kick drum. Nice. Here we're gonna go ahead and open the cymbals now. Okay. All of the cymbals are in one box. Um, if you guys already looked up the drum set, you know where the cymbals are from, what kit they come from previously from Elisa's. But they're still nice. The pad feels good. On to the next one. Oh, there we go. Let's open this one up. This one is the hi hat pedal. Gotta be careful because I see some screws. I got these. So, one screw, one of the lockdown screws, and the spring is in the bag. So, you gotta make sure you check when you open everything. I'm gonna put this back on so we don't lose it. The Lisa's hi hat pedal. has a spring. I guess the trigger's in here somewhere to catch the response. That's the pedal. Alright, so let's move on to the next box. Let's see what comes in this accessory box. So we have the cables to run to all of your film pads. Very important. We have a Alesis a name plate to put on the rack. We have some drumsticks, at least this surge drum key, and the manual. Let's see, actually take this stuff out. We have the instructions if you don't know how to put it together. We have the warranty information booklet, and then your drum module booklet. And then some strap tie downs to do your cable management and your drum key and through this probably for something we'll figure that out and this kind of drum key which is pretty cool and then all the the mounting hardware for the drum pads to mount them to the rack and this looks like a nice little power supply and that is everything in the accessory box now the rack A nice shiny chrome drum rack. Hardware for the cymbals. Underneath, lift this one. Get the rest of your drum rack parts are all in there. It says Alesis on all the clamps. 
lastly we have the module or the brain whatever you want to call it so when you open it up take it out the front of the module the side has the power supply the other side has a headphone output and the back has your MIDI, 5-pin MIDI, and your USB MIDI, an extra tom and an extra crash symbol, and your output, input, and an auxiliary in. So now we're going to go ahead and put all this together and get it set up. All right, so now we're going to clean up this area from unboxing it, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, actually just put it together right here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we have the rack. It does have instructions. So we can see how this rack is put together. Then you go on here. So we're gonna go ahead and follow instructions and put this thing together. We're gonna go ahead and put our jump pads into place and get everything in a position that we like so then we can get the wiring everything up and then finally start it up and test it out. So I have all of the jump pads unboxed. And we're gonna go ahead and actually put them in place. They have a little hole with the lock nut, like a wing nut, screw them on. I got my actual drum thrown. I got the height so it's more like the height of my actual acoustic drum set. Probably gotta raise it up a little bit higher. Um, but I'm trying to make it so it's easy to practice on here and then go on the other drum set and still have the same, you know, feel in a way. So I'm not like practicing way different than what the other one is. So now I'm gonna actually go ahead and put on the cymbals, get those heights set, and then I'll come back and show you guys when the cymbals are set up. Alright, so now we have the hi-hat in place, the crash, the ride, the minor little adjustment to get this more where I wanted. Yeah, so now we're going to actually get the kick drum in place. We're going to actually put together the uh, kick drum pedal. But we're going to put the kick drum pedal in place, we're going to get the hi-hat set up in place. Then we're going to put the module on and then roll the cable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Tilt you guys down here. Kick drum and a beater nail on plate. And it's pretty uh, heavy when it's all together. So it's, it's not like moving and I'm on the carpet so... So it's not gonna go flying anywhere. Uh, next we have the hi-hat but there's no assembly for this so... We're just going to put this in place and get it all oriented properly and then move on to putting the module on and installing the cables. Alright, so now everything else is put in place, snare, cymbals, the toms. We're actually going to go ahead and pop the module into place. So I'm going to actually put it right here. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and run all the cables. Each one is actually labeled. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says hi-hat, kick drum, tom, two, ride, hi-hat control, snare, tom, three, tom, one, crash, one, and hi-hat. I probably said hi-hat twice, but anyway, you guys get it. So we're going to hook all these puppies up and run this skizzy looking connector <laughs> up to the back of the module. So at the back of the module you'll see these inputs and you're like where does it hook up at? It actually is on the bottom. So you plug it up to the bottom here you take it make it sure it's the right way plug it in. And you may be wondering how do you screw it in? I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video I, there was these screws in the accessory bag with the manual and that's where they go keep you tight and locked down 
can just go ahead and put that back, tighten it down. So now we have all our cables. You can go ahead and start organizing them to where they need to go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one by one and run them to where they need to go, starting with the ride. Now for anybody wondering how do you plug up the cymbals, I'll unscrew that. On the bottom side, you'll see the quarter inch slot. So we have our ride cable. We're going to plug it in to our quarter inch slot. Put that back. In your accessories bag is a bag of Velcro tie downs. So now you can do your cable management however you want to do it, wherever, all the way back to the module. So now I'm going to run the toms. Um, if you're wondering where the tom quarter inch is, it's right here. So here's the back, you'll see it right there. So same thing, same process again. Grab all your cables or which ones you need, and then you find your tom. So here's my tom 2 connector and I'm just gonna plug it in right there just like that and then when I'm done I'm gonna run all the cables together along the bar so I'm gonna do it to the next one the other top and then we'll hook up the hi-hat and the snare for the kick drum it is actually located on the right side if you're looking at the back and on the left side if you're looking from the front it goes right here Crash one, same process. For the high control, you'll be looking, you're like, where is it? It is actually on this side. You turn around and bam, it's right there. Plug it in. But lastly, that leaves us with our snare. And there's our snare drum right there. We go underneath you'll see the bar you mounted it to it's focus and then there on the back side is the quarter inch port so right here right there is the quarter inch port for your snare so now I'm gonna use one of the tie downs organize all my cables so they're not all hanging all over the place Finally, Now the final thing to do is plug up the power supply, right there. So now we'll just plug up a quarter inch cable and run it to the monitors or the amp and test it out. Alright, alright so now we have it all hooked up. Hi-hat, foot pedal, hi-hat, cymbal, snare, crash, tom, 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 ride. Sounds good. Oh, I just look at the settings and like I'm hitting the snare. It does have sensitivity so it changes to when you're hitting and if you hit utility it has its like settings for different things but sensitivity is the one that I was looking at so if I put it all the way up to 16 or if I take it all the way down to 1 you have to hit you know really hard to even get it to make a loud sound so, so I can hit light I can hit hard, so you, I guess you can go through each each drum and set a sensitivity level for them. So that's pretty good that they at least have that.
guys, so that was my day. That's the unboxing. Unbox the Alesis Surge Mesh Drum Kit. I actually am liking it so far. It actually seems like a good practice kit and a good kit to be able to run MIDI because I know a lot of people complain about the module, but you know, if you have a laptop or a drum machine, like an MPC or something, anything, you know, you can run MIDI and use any drum sounds you want, so it's really not a problem. I've only used the first kit. I haven't even went through the kits, and the first one sounds perfectly fine to practice and jam out. So far, it seems like a good uh, little mesh drum set for the price, and, and um, I'm actually liking it. Like, it seems very comfortable. It's a good size to have in a, a room or in an area to be able to practice without disturbing everybody you can put on your headphones. So now I can actually practice and actually get good at, at drums. This was my video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.